So one of the hardest things about growing any new business or startup is one, getting the reach and exposure you need, but two, being able to build that credibility so that customers actually trust you enough to buy from you. Well, in this video, we're gonna dive into how you can start leveraging Harrow in your business to get more credibility and more exposure. Hey guys, it's Tom here from Elevate Digital. And if it's your first time to the channel, welcome. This channel is really all about helping you to elevate your business to new heights so you can get more leads, more customers, and most importantly, have more fun while doing it. So in this video, we're gonna dive into Harrow, which stands for Help a Reporter Out. And it's an incredible website that you can leverage to start getting more exposure and building more credibility for your business. Now the way Harrow works is it's effectively a platform where both, um, so media publications, so journalists, and also sources can go on there as well to respond to queries from journalists. Now what's phenomenal about Harrow is that it can really help you to get featured by a lot of um, media publications in your industry, which is obviously incredible, not only for your credibility, but also getting you more reach and getting backlinks to your website, which is gonna help with SEO. And it's also gonna get you just in front of more eyeballs as well. And there's some really big brand names and big media publications that use Harrow. So it can be an incredible tool to really leveraging that and getting more exposure out there for your business. Now let's dive into my laptop and I'll show you exactly how it works works and even some templates that you can use to reach out to these journalists to get more chance of getting featured. So let's dive right into it. Okay, so here we are on the Harrow homepage. The website's literally helpreporter.com. So this just gives you an idea of the kind of publications that you can potentially be featured in. So you can probably already see how, you know, incredibly powerful it can be to start you know, leveraging some of these big brand names and being able to showcase these logos on your website, you know, it can really help to build up your credibility and trust with your potential customers. So when you get onto the homepage here, you'll just want to click onto I'm a source, and this will basically allow you to subscribe for updates and receive notifications anytime a journalist requests information. So this might be that they're looking um, for you know an update on something they might be looking for an opinion or perspective on a certain um, you know topic or industry or they might even be looking to they occasionally conduct like interviews and things so it's really just a matter of putting your you know your pitch your content whatever it might be over to them and you have the chance to be featured in a lot of these huge publications no matter how small you are and this is what i really like about harrow is that it really depends on the quality of your content so if you're somebody who really knows your stuff and you can impress these journalists with what you know um, then you can very easily get featured by these publications and it's just a matter of, like anything of being persistent with it so you'll see the steps here you click on the subscribe now button you just have to fill in a couple of details. They do also have different subscription packs as well, like you see here. So you've got the, the free pack. Um, you've then got these upgrades, which basically allow you to filter by certain keywords. So on the free version, you'll get an email with basically all of the opportunities. But if you wanted to kind of filter that down into like your particular niche or your industry, you'll have to pay to upgrade that. And as it goes on, you've got things like, you know, filtering by three keywords and things like that. With, with uh, this advanced pack here, you also get notified in advanced as soon as a, a request comes through to their editorial team. So um, just little things like that. But the free one is more than enough to begin with. So the other thing to just note, when you sign up, you'll obviously have to just fill in your details, business details, etc. like on here. I'd also recommend going through to your profile section when you're logged in here and just making sure all of these details are up to date. Um, you've got your address, you've got your social media links and everything. You can also check the preferences here as well. So it's worth just updating these just so that you've got all of the information there. So it just gives you more chance of being featured when you know you've got all of your details on here and they don't have to go back and forth asking for information. 
So after you've signed up, you'll get three emails a day into your inbox. You'll get a morning, an afternoon, and an evening email. Now the emails themselves look like this. So you literally have an index at the top here and it's broken down into the different categories and industries, unless of course you've subscribed to one of the, the um, premium packages, in which case you can filter it by your keywords. But let's say that you find you know, a topic or an industry that's relevant to you. You can literally just um, click on it and it will tell you who the reporter is in some instances, it will say what the, the media outlet or publication is. So it might be like Forbes magazine, for example, and it will then say the query. Now to respond to this query, you just literally need to click on the email here and it will respond to that particular query. So there's a couple of things to be mindful of when you're pitching or replying to some of these. So just bear in mind that a lot of these reporters are going to be working to very stringent deadlines. They do actually list the deadline here as well, but the sooner and quicker you can act on these, the better. It's also really important to make sure that your subject line is very specific. Don't try to be, you know, fancy with it and, you know, do something that's completely irrelevant because you've got to bear in mind they're going to be getting probably hundreds of emails a day. Um, so you really need to do what you can to stand out. I would recommend putting the, the topic, the kind of keyword topic in here. So for this one, for example, is about a bar guide. So you might even you know, make it sound like a headline yourself, say um, the world's best bar guide or something like that, just to really catch their attention so that they know exactly what it's regarding and what it's in relation to. The other thing to mention here is don't focus your entire email on telling people why you're so good and why they need to pick you. Because again, they're getting hundreds of emails a day from you know people who are no doubt qualified, but where you can really stand out from a lot of these companies who brag about how good they are is by just getting straight to the point. You know, really cutting to the chase, giving them a taster of the content, and that's important here. For this one, for example, you might want to say something like, hi, my name is Tom, I run the best bar guide blog. And if you have any other credentials, like if you can say, you know, we get 20,000 visitors a month, for example, by all means add that in there, but if not, don't worry about it too much. But that just gives them an idea of why you're qualified. You know, you don't need to go too much into this and write your entire history. Just give them a very top level, um, you know, overview of why. So you could even say, I run the best bar guide blog. We um, review all of the latest bars, whatever it might be, just so they can see that you're in the right industry. And then this is where you want to get straight into the content. So they're seeking product ideas for the bar product guide. So you might want to say something here like, these products have been incredibly popular with my audience. I've listed them out below. And then again, go into some detail here, like really give them something because what you'll find is that a lot of people that apply for these will just say, hey, I'm such and such. You should pick me because we've been in business for 10 years and we do this and we do that. We do this contact me for more information if you want me to help you. And then they they kind of expect a lot of back and forth and people very often don't take this approach because they're worried that, you know, the reporters are just going to steal their idea or whatever it might be. But the way I see it, you're setting yourself up with a much better chance to get these links if you're actually going to give them some content. It might be that, you know, you say at the end, if you want more information, contact me. So you don't have to give away everything, but I would highly recommend really wowing them with your content here and making the emails captivating as possible. So another thing that can actually be really effective here is if you're writing a particularly long response to some of these journalists is to write a conclusion or a summary. Because what you'll find typically when people receive emails and you probably notice you do this yourself, 
that you'll scroll straight down to the bottom. You know, people often look for the, the PS sign off or whatever it might be. They just want to quickly glance over stuff. So if you can put a very captivating, you know, conclusion, so you might say bottom line is or, you know, in summary. And then what you can do is just make this bold so it catches the eye. And then you can just put almost think of it like a quotable, like if you were going to be featured in this article, what's like a cool quote or snippet that you could take out of the content you've written just so they see that. So if they are skimming all of these articles, when they get to the bottom, they see this and it's the first thing they see and they think, ah, oh, this is actually pretty good. Maybe I should maybe I should read this whole thing. So it just gives you more chance of really standing out. Another tip here as well is if you're going to be doing these and I would suggest, you know, setting aside some time to just check this on a daily basis. If you're just starting out and you're looking to really build up the exposure and credibility of your brand, make a note, make a reminder to check it, you know, every day or a couple of times a week, whatever it might be. But if you get to the stage where you're sending a lot of these off, it can be a good idea to actually save these emails and these responses into a folder because you'll end up finding, you end up with some pretty brilliant content that can then be repurposed into a blog for your own website, for example, or even social media posts. So let's just take that out for now though. I'm gonna put a link in the description of this video as well with a couple of templates that you can use to really make your outreach as effective as possible. But I hope that's at least given you a quick overview of how Harrow works and how you can use it to get some really incredible exposure, backlinks for your business and really start building up your credibility as well. Because what you'll find is that when you actually start doing this, you can start putting these you know, trust badges and icons on your website to show that you're an authoritative figure. So if you look back here, for example, on the Harrow homepage, things like this, you know, being able to feature these big brand logos on your, your company website or homepage can obviously make an incredible difference to your credibility and the trust of your potential customers. So I hope it's helped. If you've enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a like and subscribe. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll speak to you guys very soon.